Hey folks, welcome to Red Mask Beauty. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today I'm doing a Tori Amos look um, from a, a picture um, from the Rolling Stone cover from 1998. Um, and that's the picture you're seeing at the beginning of this video. And that was taken by photographer David LaChapelle. Anyway, um, I was really excited to, to recreate this look. Um, I had a lot of fun, it really um, an inspirational photo. So um, I really enjoyed doing this and I hope you enjoy watching. Thanks, take care, bye. Okay, so we're starting with the L'Oreal True Match and Soft Ivory in one. And I'm going to use a Beauty Blender Dupe sponge to apply that. Next, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind and Fair. It's a wonderful concealer, and we'll just go under the eyes and anywhere else you want to brighten or any blemishes you want to cover up. And I'm just rolling that in with the Beauty Blender and just pressing it into the skin. Next, I'm going in with the Lorac Eyelid Primer, and I'm just going to press that onto my fingertips and just work it onto the lids. And next I'm using the Brow Pomade by Too Faced in the color Universal Taupe. Looks like this. And I'm just going to use an angled eyeliner brush to brush that in. The brows actually look really natural in this photo, so I'm really just getting the shape a little cleaner on my own brows, and so that's why I'm not going terribly dark with this color and then I'm brushing it through. Next I'm using a Rimmel Black Coal Pencil, just a really basic black eyeliner. And this is to fill in the lash line, just the top lash line and not the bottom. Now I'm using the L'Oreal La Palette Nude number no. 2 and I'm using this pink color here, it's called number 8 on the back and I'm just going to use a regular eyeshadow brush to apply this on the lid and I'm just doing this in the basic half moon crescent shape here on the eyelid. Then with the same palette, I'm using the number one color, which is a lighter pink, which makes for more of a highlighting color, and I'm just putting that on top of the semicircle. Next, I'm going to go in with the Naked Basics palette with a flesh color tone for me, which is called WOS. Any flesh color tone for you should work as well. It does nice highlighting over the area and it just cleans up the lines to make them look smoother. And then for the mascara, this is the Maybelline Rocket, my favorite. And I'll just pop that on. King Solomon's mind. 
Exit 75, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Next, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner. It's in the color Red Wine. And I'm just going to outline the lips and then shade them in. And here for the lipstick, I'm using the Wet n Wild um, lipstick in the color Sugar Plum Fairy. So it's kind of a, a dark purple plum kind of color here. And here with, I'm going back in with the lip liner to just do another cleaner edge after I've applied the lipstick. And now I'm using the NYX pencil, the Wonder Pencil, and that is in a flesh tone color. They have different ones depending on your, your tone of skin. Uh, and so I'm just doing kind of the reversible lip liner idea here with tracing the lines to make them clean. Um, and less likely to bleed. Here I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle in the color Angelic, and then just using a blush brush here. And we'll just pop that on, and then I'll smooth that in with my fingers in just a moment. And then here I'm doing a final cleanup with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. It's especially important under the eyes because the under eye look is very nude looking. So there's no eyeliner, so any transfer or anything that could have been made along the way, it's important to get under the eyes and can't hurt to, to uh, clean up around the lips, etc. Just to give a brightness to the face. And here at last I'll use the IT Cosmetics dual finish powder and I'll just apply a little bit of this with the brush just to give it that photo finish look that nice matte finish Right on time, you get closer and closer. 